Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh Gorantra and today we are going to discussing about mobile automation testing by using Python. Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to discussing about locators in Appium, mobile app automation testing. Okay, here basically we have so many locators. See, uh, when you are going for uh, selenium we have different different locators a similar format here are very less locators we can able to reuse any other locations also okay for this first we need to start here to connect with the app and i'll show there what all the locators are presented now see now we are here if i'm going to click for chrome you can see there is an accessibility id and x path elemented id and index package packages and class name and text and context description okay remaining things are not there okay and here more moreover accessibility id this is the unique in a locator any app that become a unique it will not change okay that is a unique we can able to say in a selenium id which is a unique right the similar for my accessibility id it will come for mobile automation that is a unique id for accessibility id xpath is common and we can able to package we can able to use and class name and text and context description any of them we can able to use create for our xpath class name also it will work but class name also it is having some issue how right you can able to see android wizard text view right if you click another one same view wizard text view and here again phone also the same and if you go for youtube youtube also the similar format okay when you go for any other things right it will go for this class name become everything same for all the time okay but we have to change okay uh, we need to take for any other one to choosing purpose okay class name is very rare case uh, recommended in this automation side most of the time we can go for accessibility id and x path or css selector that is uh, when you are communicate with any web application not for app if you are go for any web application to automate in a, a mobile also we can able to use for chrome right the similar format any web related things if you are using that moment you can go for any x path related to web element okay but when you go for mobile app automation that time we have to follow these are the things okay how we can able to get for this accessibility id and if you one here i'm going to create here one file that is a uh, locator so one okay i'm copying now this all the things pasting here and i'm going to deleting this all the things not required for this all okay i'm going to make the server here and i'm going to add it to click for my uh chrome uh, chrome browser for this i am going to copy in this chrome value and i am coming to here and click for accessibility id you can able to see here android matching android ui automator android view matching and android view class name css selector custom my voice latest of all the things are presented you can able to choose based upon your convenient of x path or something okay and i'm going to pass it for here the my value okay now i passed and i clicked here okay now i want to now i want to enter in this text box if i click this one it will open here i want to um, enter here that some text right for this again i need to now i need to find this x path basically id it is presented sometimes it will work sometimes it will not be work okay same x path maybe or may not be we can able to choose anything okay 
and this uh, also text box also we can take it because uh, only one text box is there okay and export so long but we can able to short that as well okay i'm going to take for text this is the one text okay resource id become a unique resource id also work like a uh, id and accessibility id type but it's very rare case recommended also okay now i'm going to here i need to enter a value into a text box then i need to use for driver dot find element okay by appm dot x path and then comma value and here i am going to providing for my x path that is a star i am going to make okay and here again i am going to use for at the rate text equal to single quotation my value okay and dot send keys and here i am going to pass it for my value location just whether we are able to send or not just this is the accessibility id and accessibility id will uh, uh, maybe or may not be will get for one time or sometimes but we'll see that now running if i run before running we need to close the apps any app are opening we need to close it okay now i'm going to run this one locators one and the same time i'm going to opening this as well we can see once uh, in case our code is working as expected it is click and also it will click for see now locus it is entered as well okay this is this is a way we can able to automate our app as well by using accessibility id we'll see for xpath how we can uh, xpath also i created here but some more way we can i will show you for next video session okay thank you for watching